every now and then games and sometimes even older games become super popular because of streamers and YouTubers playing these games for videos. And that's actually how I started playing Juke Wars because of G Wizard and Ludwig. As games evolve and as more eyes are seen on these games, people become really good at the game as I have really because of, of these YouTubers. And so for today, I thought it'd be super fun to go through and watch different streamers and YouTubers play GeoGuessr. So one, just to see how good they are, I think I might be surprised by some people's uh, skill level. I don't want this to be like a, a well actually, if anyone ever looks at my first games playing GeoGuessr, I was probably way worse than these guys. There would be no guest streaming in this video. This is purely just fun to go through and just watch these different people play GeoGuessr for the first time because for me, it's fun to watch people play GeoGuessr because it's like with a, with a hindsight, I think, because I think anyone can be good at this game. So let's get into it. All right, first video here is gonna be speed, which I've never seen any of the videos I'm watching before. So this should be fun. I don't really know what to expect. Like I said, this is just purely just fun for me, I think, to just just to watch. Let's watch speed play as you, you guys are complete or a quick tutorial to understand the basics of this game. Okay. Paris? What the f this is easy. The tutorial is bad. Like I, I guess it's like you have to understand like how to play the game, but yeah, that's uh it gives you pretty big gimmies in the tutor tutorial, so we'll we'll fast forward this a bit. Um uh, this is uh this is a hard location for uh, the third location you ever get, mainly because this is called Trekker coverage. And so Trekker is not road coverage. So you have a lot less clues like road lines and things like that. Given it is maybe easy with an experienced player, but I don't think this is a for a tutorial. It sounds obvious as Eiffel Tower. This is, this is Oceania. Okay, see like bro's kind of cracked. Most people probably like, especially Americans, they probably go US here. Oh, uh, this is, this is, this is. Street sign, street sign, street sign. Um, I guess you could always look at the sun and we could see the sun is in the north, which means we're gonna be in the southern hemisphere. You can see in the top of the screen there. That's a good, you know, first clue, I guess. But he called Oceania right. off the bat, like NMPZ. So kind of impressive, honestly. Dubai, Dubai, Dubai. Oh no, sure. he doesn't know where he Where's is. Dubai, yeah. That's okay though. Dubai. Yo, where the hell is Dubai at? <laughs> you know what? I don't even know, bro. Turkey. Turkey. Where's it going, Turkey? This is why the biggest thing in GeoGuessr, and I fully believe this, is to trust your first instinct. So many times I don't trust my first instinct, and it's the opposite thing. Trust your first instinct. He called Oceania off the bat. Maybe he would have got to Australia. Who knows? But hey, for the first time ever playing, we'll take that, honestly. Oh, I got away! I can see how that could be deceiving because it said congratulations, but that's, <laughs> I never thought about that. It literally just says congratulations, but it's just the badge that you get when you play the tutorial and not when you get it right. Dude, that's actually jokes. That's pretty funny. Let's do my geography, man. Oh, this is easy. This is Greece, Greece, Greece. Famous places map is is just not fun. Greece, Greece, Greece. You can't find Greece. Oh, it's in where's Europe. Greece at, man? This is Greece for sure, bro. The Athens, bro. Where is Greece at, man? There you go, Greece. You got there, you you go. got there, and then I'm that's right. all that matters. Athens, what I tell it's you, not, Athens, it's Rome. Turn me up. But same thing, Rome, Greece, same thing, bro. Yeah, okay. Loki. World map and famous places and the dumb test are the three maps most people play in the beginning. I guess it's depending on how you want to play the game. It just says like a casual player, so that's expected. Uh, this is this is not in America. Day as polo? No, it's probably in America because it says polo. Why does polo equal America? Up oh, Brazil, got you, buddy. Well, he knows that Rio. Deductive reasoning, I guess. Um, if you don't know the Venice Canal, as you know, we'll Brazil got you in 4K. Brazil, come on. You click center, hope for the best. <laughs> what? How is that in Italy? That's not an easy Venice, guys. Come on, let's okay. go to something off of famous Poland. places. Poland. All right, he's playing world map now. This is kind of the, the standard map people play. Maybe now, if you're starting out, you should be playing like a community world or a diverse world. Round one, the painting is mm, bad off the bat. California. California only has trees like this, y'all. I like the reasoning, you know? I like the reason. This is either California mm. or Florida. He knows, like, if you see palm trees like that, you probably should be going California or Florida. You know what, I'm about to go with Florida, because Florida is the only city that has trees like that, bro. Palm trees. I'm about to go with Temple, Florida. Kind of base. Temple, Florida. 50-50, you know? Cali, damn it, man! That's not that That's, bad, though. That's not, not that bad. bad. He's not That's wrong. That's not that bad, though. Oh, you gotta pay for it? Oh, yeah, man. Man, let me pray for it, bro. I didn't know you have to pray for it, bro. Everyone pray for Geo Guesser. <laughs> this is not an easy location either. World map is actually more, uh, like, pretty difficult. But you can see we have the Africa. short antenna. Africa. Which means you're gonna be more Africa, in this the is, um, it's gonna be somewhere. Madagascar. Madagascar, Africa. Madagascar's only coverage is, like, Trekker coverage, Madagascar, so. Africa. Madagascar, Africa. Yep, Madagascar right here. Madagascar, turn me up. What? Poland. Bro, classic, why does Poland, Poland look like Africa? Do you not recognize the, the, the Polish trees? Come on, man. Isn't Poland is like a cold country? That is crazy. It's actually it's actually really interesting to think about for me to have like perspective. I used to be making guesses like this. Not that this is like maybe necessarily a bad guess, but it's, it's fun to look back and think like intuitively how quickly your brain can, can recognize different places super quickly. And like why something doesn't look like that is pretty cool to look at the in retrospect on. I thought Poland was like, oh, bro, Poland is like literally by like Antarctica, dog. What the what? hell? 
Not quite. <laughs> um, it's somewhere in America. For he keeps sure. getting somewhere in the U.S. Uh, speed I, limit. You sign U.S. miles per hour. He he has intuition on the U.S. down. I think so. Hopefully, had, he can make a good guess, guess here. DMV for sure. Not a bad guess. I it's think. Somewhere in America. Only like only America looks like this. Uh, True in Canada, but DMV no one likes Canada. Oklahoma. New York. First instinct. You know he would have been closer with first instinct. Not bad. Not bad. A thousand points on it, y'all. Thousand points. Come on, y'all. Too goddamn smart. A wise man once said, "We'll take that." He's got uh, this. Oh, this is China. 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 Mm. Where the hell is Beijing at, man? Beijing, China. Turn me up. Too easy. What the f***? I think also something to to learn that most people don't understand when they first play the game is what countries are actually covered on Street View. So when you have the pool of, you know, how many ever many countries are, there's only like 106 or something like that actually on GeoGuessr. Unfortunately, China is not on Street View. And, you know, telling the person maybe Japanese and, and Chinese immediately is, is, is not the easiest. So What country is this? To Anime! Fuck, man, I'm tripping. <laughs> hey, this looks like. Mm, Let's see if he goes US look here. Look at the stop sign. This is somewhere. This is somewhere in America. US Canada 50 50 is really difficult. Most people always think something is the US if it's in the US, but we have these like the electricity counters or something like that. But they're like these orange and white painted poles on the side of the road. Someone in the comments can let me know what, what they're actually called. I, I'm wondering right now. But these are way more common in the US over Canada. So uh, if you see those, that's a good indicator that you're going to be in, in the US. Or you can just have good vibes like speed. America only has this stop sign. Technically, um, no. America is the. <laughs> it's actually it is kind of surprising. I'd love to know the history behind different countries using stop on their stop sign rather than their native language. Like Quebec uses RA, but France uses stop. There has to be a reason behind things like that that is probably more interesting. But most countries do use stop. Besides a, a select few, like Malaysia and, and Turkey. Kind of stop sign. I might go with Arizona. And South America. Tucson, Phoenix, Arizona. We take that. Um, we got the U.S. His country streaks that like two country streak. This is gonna be Israel with a long and tan and yellow plates, but he looks okay. This is somewhere in Europe. Hmm. Yep, I got it. Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. Come on now, turn me up. Damn. Well, at least he learned that. Congratulations. Doesn't mean you got it right. That's a that's a that's progress. Four seven hundred. Honestly, like my first games weren't that much better. That's a dub. Four thousand and seven hundred points, y'all. Four seven hundred. We'll take that. I think speed. I think he's smarter than most people probably think. I, I think he could probably do better, but we'll take that. All right. So the second video we have here is XUC playing GS. I don't know if this is the first time. I wanted to get a mix of people playing for the first time and more recently because I think I don't think it's fair to pigeonhole people into like their first game ever played and maybe more of like how they progressed recently. So I tried finding more recent videos of people playing, but for some I kind of want to go back into the depths of some videos and see i have only think i've seen xqc play once or twice on stream so xqcl but we'll see we'll see um how good he is at you guys are. guys okay so this is an insanely tough 50 50 for new players i guarantee you he thinks this is canada because scandinavian countries look very similar to canada that's a hard 50 50 in the beginning especially if you're from canada and you kind of know what it looks like i don't get it this looks canadian i think yeah it, it does it really does look canadian i've gone canada on Finland more times than I'd, I'd like to I like to say it. But this uh, this bar here you wouldn't find in Canada. Although the trees look a little bit small. That's, that's Guys, a good observation. Joe Gesser bring me in a fing wood. Hi, yeah, it's gonna take a candle hundred percent. He's about to see the sign and be like this is in Canada, I hope. Because just can't help but hello. Okay, well you're never gonna hear something again, you'll <laughs> I'm mad. I'm mad I'm not making mood for Elvin I did. Dude, I love this guy. Finland. Whoa! No shot he gets there. Okay, that doesn't count because I, I cheated. What Dude, the hell? what the f is that? This is the Philippines, I think. Colombia? Bintang. No, it's Indonesia. Uh, you get these banners right here uh, on the on the side of houses very, very commonly in Indonesia. That's a that's a big hint if you, if you can't really tell the language apart. Mold. Jerome Slipper Mold. <laughs> they sell internet and cell phones in this thing. <laughs> Chat, where is this? It's always fun to read chat too. There's always like a couple people that are like very adamant on knowing where it is. And there's always like the one guy that's spamming like South America on like Indonesia. I really don't want to come off like I'm, I'm guessing or anything like that. But like, this is so fun to watch people play GeoGuessr. I feel like this is like the essence of GeoGuessr, right? Some people look at me and it's like, how is GeoGuessr even like fun anymore? It is, it's still fun. It, the learning is fun, but having no clue, it would, I feel like would also be just as fun now. So it's fun to like kind of vicariously live through these videos. Guys, where is that? Maybe he got there. <gasps> kind of a Cheeto, but hey, let's chat. Shout out to chat in that one. It was in Singapore. <laughs> oh, bro. That's jokes. 
Well, I don't beg. What oh, he's about, got dude? this. He's got this. When do I ever beg you for anything? A Canadian blur. You get the black dot. I think I'm very, very common in, in like Western Canada, like near Alberta, Sask, Manitoba region. Dude, the play was just a little scout. That's all, dude. F man. I would go Sask here, dude, I think. That's the chat. This is uh, America. This is America challenge percent. A lot of Southern Canada and America look really similar. It's just like this very flat. I was playing a game where a place also, was kind of scuffed. The wooden poles that are more common in Canada as well. You obviously get states in the U.S. that have wooden it's, poles. It's but. scuffed. It's some American fucking kick on a limb thing. It's fucking it, Iowa, dude. It goes north, dude. You might get a good score here, too. <laughs> That's a good timing. It was Manitoba. In North Dakota. This is not Canada, I don't think. Yeah. Water's too clear. This is this is why the world map is horrible. I, I personally don't like any locations like this. What happened with this fucking Google guy? Simulator like, what the f was he doing? <laughs> Dude, I think people think when they think of Google, they think it's everything's a car. I've seen some people, streamers, the new new players, and they're like, how the hell did they get a car on the beach? I don't think XUC thinks that, but there's a thing called Trekker Cam where it's like a backpack where you can get Trekker coverage. And most pro players actually are very anti Trekker because you do get locations like this where there's very minimal clues and it's not going on things you studied for. You're in the middle of a forest and you don't you don't get the same things um, that you would get on a car or on a road. I'm I, I'm glad he's very anti Trekker. That's the most based XUC take ever. So what is this place like? Used right there's now. nothing. Love you. He's just hiking in some guy's house. It's so base. He walked up some random guy's house. It's some EU. Shit. Yeah, I actually don't know where I go here. Definitely hey, some Mediterranean, but likely I have NordVPN in real life to protect oh, wow. myself from hackers. Not bad. AD. Yeah. Again, like the, the world map is just. I'm so anti world map. Like, get rid of this. I hope he doesn't like. Yo, these Google employees are not the doing their job. Love you, man. <laughs> this lazy. He's in houses and shit. Dude, let him cook, bro. Let him cook. Dude, I'm trapped here, dude. Exactly why. Like, I think you guys are thinking some new players like the world map and like these locations. They're not fun. Like, you're stuck in like a, a like a random like museum or hotel. Get rid of trekkers, bro. He's just trolling the game. He's actually trolling. Look, that's his stuff. He's literally. <laughs> but keep in mind, this is also not official coverage because you can see in the bottom right, there's a copyright name. And so this isn't actually taken by a Google employee. This is someone like me or you would go out and like take a photosphere. Usually if it's official, I'll say Google. I'm not sure why the world map has unofficial coverage. Take Hi, this is Greece. Come forth, Dakota Brew. Not a bad People's guess, really at all. Champ. Like at all. Cooker bag. Pepe and <laughs> Talia. Nice. Okay, what is that? Driving left, it's Australia. No it's some EU thing, it's some fucking EU thing 100%. Why bother putting a fucking spoiler, dude? You're not mm. EU. Low key, spoilers on cars should be like a New Zealand, Australia meta. You're not about to go They're race, dude. Like, what is that? Let's put some downforce on there, bro. It looks like a family car. What the fuck are you on about, dude? <laughs> Who makes this shit? And this is, this is Australia for sure. It's not gonna be bad. It's just an SW. That's a, it's actually an insane guess. How did he get Australia there? He was in Europe like 20 seconds ago. I popped off! He's actually popped off. I a little, a little Russia action. That's Russia. Let him cook. Russia's like... Guys, they don't even have roads. Huh? Russia's like notoriously difficult to reach guess. So I don't expect much here. The black on the bottom of these poles right here is very Russian as well. That's a good sign for Russia. We have a long antenna white car, which means that you're either gonna be like Chelyabinsk or like very far east. Obviously he wouldn't know that, but yeah, I wanna make this my education. This isn't a good place. But they're putting statues and shit. Uh, it's Russia. It's Belarus, be respectful. Okay, sorry, man. Um, yeah, over here by Chelyabinsk. You get that white car down south a bit. That's a good hint. Usually Russia's a black car, so. Wait, did he go Belarus? Bro, he just got gaslit. It's Belarus, be respectful. Okay, sorry, man. Aw, oh, man, he actually got gaslit. It was indeed! It happens. It's like Canadian. Canadian. We have the short dash our lines here, common Swedish road lines. Without knowing road lines, the trees here, like the Scandinavian trees, do look very Canadian. So I understand where he's, he's coming hey, from. Uh, Norwegian? Norwegian? Sweden. Not bad. This is one of the first things you learn, you guess here is this Kolo Cross. On the back of signs you get the cross. Plus it's like very arid climate, should be pretty north. Uh it's Mexico? Albania! That's actually hilarious. Just There's a, a yellow play here. Yellow plate's also cool in South America. This is like very nerd, like, well actually. But the black car with a short antenna like this is only in Colombia. Where the fuck is it? Where's Colombia? Well at least he knows the Spanish speaking, but it is in South America. <laughs> Wait, yeah. the Pablo Escobar did fucking Netflix thing makes a lot more sense now. I didn't know that. Dude, I've never seen someone get so many Trekker locations in my life. Like, this is so unfortunate. I hope he calls another that employee just doing his thing. Yeah. Another lazy fucking Google <laughs> employee just Let chilling cook. at the just beach, dude. Let him cook. Look at this fucking guy, he does it again. And this is actually official Google coverage. This is Thailand. Nice, he knows his flags. 
usually in east tide you get more of like red soil near like the cambo border more north you go it gets like more hilly i would go east tide here maybe near cambo that cambodian border loud border yeah it's near the cambo border there all right he's got this yo where is that Guys, we have this... the short stubby and tan which is only mexico colombia ecuador brazil this game has been showing me he's not wrong he's gotten very hard and very bad location oh, random like through, Kona land this is gonna be like somewhere in brazil like i would go somewhat more northish where it gets more like you get some more grass this sign right here you'll see it. we have like this red tail on the road too but the sign the back of the sign would be black which is common and we have a ladder pole right here which is a common in oh, brazil yes. should i transmit from space Wait, what? It didn't even show us where we, he, it was. Just trust, I was right. A little Peru action. Peru ballers, black car. Black car in South America with Spanish is Peru, Argentina, Uruguay. A black white start pulse here is Peruvian. That's like very next level. Saying, things it's that you, would, you would learn when you play the game a lot, so I don't expect to really know. Guys, what is this? Peru. <laughs> I think him playing Jigas was just him. Bugging. It's just like him, like not knowing where something is, looking at chat, and then chat saying where it is, and then him trying to find where that country is on the map, which is kind of like really fun. Fantastic content. Nice you guess. Great 47 miles. If only you Let's go. Yelling. Usually the rule of thumb in Jugas is if you're in the forest, you just I go to Slovenia. Got the EU vibes. But yeah. Felix. Forest equals Slovenia, real and true. 17k is a really good score though. And I, like all in all, like I'm actually pretty impressed with some of his in, his intuition. And this is also two years ago, like before I had even started playing GeoGuessr. So he was probably better than me at this point uh, two years ago, which I think it probably says a lot too around the development of the game and, and how good you can get pretty quickly. Two years ago, bro's kind of cracked, I'm not gonna lie. Got Thai, got New Zealand. Oh, this was Roraima and then Slovenia. But all in all, not too bad. All right, third one is a side min. I think KSI versus GeoGuessr Pro. Dude, when I saw this, they used me in the thumbnail. That's that's me. That's funny. And I, I'm not the Jugaster Pro. I'm not sure who the Jugaster Pro is. I guess we'll see. Shout out to whoever runs the, the Sideman channel and put me in the thumbnail. That's really Hi guys, funny. welcome to uh, One Harry versus Three Sidemen Geogesser Edition. It is myself versus JJ, Toby, and Bez. The three brain cells. This is gonna be interesting. I think I think Harry's got a task on his hand here. Three v one's fun. I'd say. All right. Um, Uruguay tramples. Nice. We'll take this? that. I don't know. Black car trying to pull so, like, this central Euro by 4900. I don't think someone's gonna guess for a while. Let me try and find a road like sign or something. Mm. I'm thinking Lithuania. I see nothing. So I, I love how KSI was clicking the, the arrow and not clicking on the street. Like this is so inefficient. The worst thing is when Harry locks that icon, bro, it's done. I'm just hoping I find little things that they don't find. Just give me a sign, man. I have no idea where I am. There's no hints in Uruguay besides the cows, the poles, and the bollards, and the signposts. And, and in the road enough. lines. I'm gonna go Lithuania, man. I'm gonna just send That's it. That's gonna be approximately 130 points. <laughs> oh, oh, it's too far, man. I guessed. Wait, did you, wait, what, did you guess? Yeah. Maybe Latvia. I'm gonna go there. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, JJ guessed as well. Okay. okay Closer. Okay. Guys, you need to guess. England. Three seconds. England. Guys, do we? you haven't even guessed. Oh, no. Oh. The only Two people guess. Three v one, but end up being a one v one. He's closer in the U.S. Oh, none of you guess. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bro. Massive eight point pickup. Oh, that's so poor. Wait, I got. Oh. Yeah, you got it. Let's, Let's go. go. Uh, Albania. I'm thinking like Israel. Looks like Albanian, but uh, then you have these I'm... these rifts in the sky are Albania, Montenegro, Senegal, but with this. Architecture no, what it's the is this? We also have the double blue plates on the back, which is Albania. Or you also get a red strip as this well. This does. I'm getting Italy vibes. Champions League. That's not bad, bad. Italy, Albania is, is very common 50 50, I think, and very what rural. Turkey's not bad either. The language is kind of similar, in my opinion. You can see it. Is bro Googling? Is it, what? Is that a flag? No. Oh, mate, I'm cooked here. That's not it's Italian. That looks Turkish. The big thing I think for Turkey is, or at least how I always remember, is Turkey often has the seas. Think Czech Yandere. Republic or something? Oh my god, I have no idea. Yeah, not covered on Street View, but it's actually a really close guess. Albania is a really good guess, all in all. Down I think. here? Albania, maybe? Dude, let him cook. I'm, I'm literally baffled. Oh, Who's this is gonna be amazing. On the o? Who's got the dots on the O? I agree, has this. I'm gonna go in there, Ankara. He, he like 5k. Wait, oh, it was Albania. Okay, thank god, thank god, thank god. That's correct. I would have gone Turkey too. Bog nailed it. Bro, he nailed it. That's actually it. massive. Jesus. Bro, wish.
Oh, this looks like England, man. I was gonna say, this that's quick intuition sure there. I guess if you're from England, Ireland? everything, you know what England, England looks like. Is this England? Oh, this is England. 100%. They all know. England. That's actually pretty cool. I think that's a, when you're playing Jugos for the first time, you always recognize your country, which I think is a good reason behind why people are good at the game. If you live in England your whole life, England looks like, right? Same kind of method, I think, where it's just memorizing and like understanding the general feel of a region, which comes with experience. Where in England, though? Harry's going to notice England. He can read. This isn't England. Homestead farm yeah it's, it's definitely england england ireland 50 50 ireland and the uk are notoriously the exact same besides a couple of things so if you have a rural road like that it's pretty difficult to understand which one's which um, oh, the, oh. tunbridge wales maidstone maidstone maidstone, maidstone. Tunbridge wales. south london that's this will help oh they know I said, no, give me That's like a, a road, give me a town name or they, something. Ah. If I was a 1v4 anyone, like these guys in England or anything like that, or in the, U the UK, I would get absolutely destroyed. Like having that knowledge of town names and things like that is so vital in small countries like that. And where in the UK would it be? He's in between Ireland and the UK, but again, we have the yellow back plates, which is a good indicator. There we go, there we go. That'll tell me. Maidstone, where is that? Off. Oh, oh, we got close. Yes! Did we beat him? JJ was closest. We beat him too. Yeah. Yeah. Massive seven, seven points. Seven point. We took seven points off of him. Double damage. Let's get it. This has got to be... Indoor. This is typical indoor and brick. Zero percent chance I get this, but this is one of those where it's like, it's just an experience game. Oh, I want to say... I wanted to say Andorra, but I don't know what... I'm actually thoroughly impressed by that, that indoor call, even if he does end up going Andorra there, especially from going from Lithuania on, on Uruguay to calling out Andorra. Biggest character development in, of the century. Brain cells trying to... Um... Bro, that's what I said. That's what I called us. Dude's cracked. Brain cells. What this the is, hell? This is difficult, this. Just looks Andorra. Novembra. Bro, see, it looks Andorran. Get it? there. Andorra. Wow. Okay. I think this is Italy. This there is now. French in Andorra. I don't Andorra. know where the Alps are exactly. I just, I just guessed a Russian. Did I get it? I got it, right? That's 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 game, I think. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. There we go. No! Hey, listen, this title was not lying, man. Oh, he what? slapped us. Wait, we did. Oh. We died, bro. What the? <laughs> That's oh awesome. My That's God. pretty cool. Guessing early is a good strategy, Loki. Especially if you're playing against a more experienced player, I, I think. I like guessing early, at least. Give the other person less time to think. Let's try again. Let's try again. I love that. You have to be I'm confident in yourself, Let's though. try again. Let's try again. I actually got very lucky last round. Like, the Albania. It wasn't luck, man. You get Albania and Andorra like that. That's... That's, that's intuition. I guess was lucky. This is, I have no idea where this could be. See, look, Buck knows all these signs, like yellow and black signs, he knows. This dude's gonna have me playing this game in my spare time to catch up, bro. Uh, I think <laughs> is, uh... Hey, nothing wrong with that. I wanna say yellow and black sign is Australia. JJ. Jay that's I was gonna say. Dude, shout out to JJ, based quick guessing. We're not about that moving around life. Australia okay. as well, but. JJ, you start the countdown, by the but, way. Oh, well, I'm just trying to watch Harry, isn't it? Who lost? Dude, five head. That's such a good technique, bro. I'm not gonna lie. It's, yeah, it's just it's easy. Australia. Oh, what, I don't know what I've done. That's the thing too with putting the pressure on. Once you hear that clock ticking, you get progressively more like terrified of where to guess and you just like blunder a guess and you go to Indonesia where you were commonly thinking Australia the whole game. It happens, it happens a lot. It happens to me, it happens to anyone. So maybe KSI didn't make the best guess, but he did put the pressure on. We did it! Oh! Bro! Oh! Right, these ones I've got to get. Oh, this is giving me Polish vibes. Polish vibes, Polish trees. Oh, no. JJ! Ah, right, this guy's doing. I. He's trolling, he's trolling. He's nah, I like it. He's so fuck with him. Because he has to react fast. He's just, he's just, a, he's just a competitor. He just understands like the strategy like very quickly. That's actually, JJ, man. I highly respect. Ah. That's like your best bet when you're playing some, a better player than you. I think it's to guess quicker. Oh, where is it? Oh, I got lucky. I got lucky. I got lucky. I got lucky. And JJ actually guessed it really right as well. Oh, it's Poland. Yeah, I knew it. Are you close? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro. You're closer. Done, Wait, it. what the? F this has got to be like oh, Botswana or something, right? This is a hard JJ. location. This is what we like to call Eswatini grass. Probably because of the mud. I'm going to go Botswana. Red. Eswatini this... or Lesopo. Red so. How long have these guys been playing GeoGuessr? Oh my God. JJ, where have you gone? I've gone I've gone North Africa. It's south. It's south. Calling out Botswana and Lesotho on that round with the zero clues for a new player is very impressive. Oh. Like you could easily go in Egypt, Thailand, something like that. So the call of Southern Africa like that, it's kind of cracked. You're getting for all oh! Copy him again. We're, We're smoking. Oh! <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I guess again, any. I don't know where this is, man. Hey, what? Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, JJ, come on, give us a chance. These are Latvian hook balls on the on the side like that. That's bro. Bro, oh, I, I, I just put England. I put England. I'm going to go mid-America. It's not England. No way it's England. You Oh, I have no idea. I'll deal with it being this fast. Go there. Yeah, look, he hasn't even done it. Yes! 
Oh, hey, he didn't guess. Going, Bez. I didn't guess. I didn't guess. I didn't guess. I didn't guess. Let's I didn't guess. No. Oh, you see, he didn't even do wow. it. Wow. Oh, he's done. <laughs> he's done out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, JJ strategy actually worked. All right, dude. Shout to KSI, man. He's a team player. He just knew like what he needed. Fair to get the play. Team I apologize. You bastards. You bastards. I get right. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome, man. That's okay, awesome. Okay, you know what? Fair dues, man. All right. That was good fun. I, I actually really liked watching like the strategy on that one. And I actually am like thoroughly impressed around their, their gameplay. Man, that was that was one of the best Heroes videos I think I've watched in a while. That was cool. All right, next we have Tim the Tapman. He's playing Geoguessr for the first time. I saw a video of Tim reacting to me playing Geoguessr. Sri Lanka. Nice. Indonesia. Nice. Norway. What? Nice. We'll take it. We'll take it! Anyone that, you know, is out here supporting me is, is super, you know, valid. Um, I appreciate that. I, I've, I've never seen him play himself, so I don't know what to expect. Geo Gesser is an American flag. Okay, famous places again. Not really as fun, but at least we're on the road and not like some museum. We're near the ocean, dude. And yep. if I'm honest with you, this kind of looks like Florida. Yeah. I, I guess it is good. I'm not looking at chat because everyone in chat is like, oh, dude, it's right here. And there's people in chat saying Venice Beach, question mark. Don't to listen to that guy. South, South Beach. Beach. That's a good clue. <laughs> yeah, it's South Beach of uh, Manhattan Beach. It's a, it's a southern. Where's there a North Beach, bro? <laughs> South That's good. Beach, Florida. Is there not? I think people underestimate how much they really know. They go into the game thinking that they, they're not going to know much, and then they probably end up knowing more than they actually probably know. We also have a Florida play here. Florida, you know? What is that? Miami! This is a problem with moving. <laughs> it's just you, you, you move until you find something that just gives it away. But that's fine. But I think if you want to learn more, obviously no moving. But hey, he got there. And he also was going Florida anyway, so dub. I was right. Yeah. I mean, it said Oh, he's like trying Beach, to find Loomis Park. I don't Park. exactly know where in Miami. Loomis Park. Got it. He found it. Loomis Park. Bro knew the road. Kind of cracked. I mean, not too bad, right? We'll take that. was that. my first time playing. 4900 on your first ever guess is pretty good. I was four. So I have to do it from the original spot? Uh, I forget. Yeah. So it's it's based off the original spot, not where you moved to. A lot of Floridians knew where that was when the picture dropped. Well, I didn't know. How do you not know that? I knew where that was. That's so obvious. Don't be that guy. Not everyone knows what you know. Never, never guess, Shane. I have to do more. All right. Um, I am gonna say that this is... We have a Russian flag there, white, red, blue. Um, Hopefully you saw that. Boy. Cyrillic. Uh, that, not English. Um, Facts. What's that flag, bro? I'm sorry, is that a fucking hand coming out of this? What is that? That's kind of eerie. What? What is that, <laughs> dude? Okay, that flag is... Uh, no flag shaming either. I mean, that is the, of course, the... Uh, you gotta know it's rough knowing that like you're supposed to know something and then you don't know it. That's like actually I get that a lot. If it's like a location around Jukas where I'm playing and like everyone's like, oh, this is easy. I'm like, uh... I don't know where this is. Someone help me. I uh, I resonate with this feeling. It's okay not to know some things, okay? I feel like that's supposed to be a big tell for me right there, but I don't know what the f*** that flag is. So, um... It's fine. Maybe, like, the food will give me a hint. I'm very food-oriented. <laughs> Bro has a flag and is looking at... He's trying to guess off food. Um, that's kind of based. That's not food. That's good. Um... <laughs> I really feel like I'm supposed to know exactly what this building is. That's a French is, flag, bro. I, just, I don't even know what f country that flag is. So my gut, I want to say, is that France? Oh, <laughs> you got the colors. I just don't think that this is France, actually, the more I'm thinking about it, because mm. I don't think that that is the French language on that sign that I first True. saw. That was Cyrillic. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All of a sudden it's daylight. Wow. Gen 4 coverage. Love it. This place is gorgeous. I actually, where this is, I actually don't know. Oh, is this COVID coverage? Looks they... like they have parties here. The Czech Republic. <laughs> is that a thing, right? Or something? It is a thing. Isn't yeah. that like a thing? Yeah. This is a bad idea. This is just really showing how f***ing stupid I am, bro. Being bad you guys are doesn't mean you're stupid. It yeah, really man. doesn't. I was very bad you guys are in the beginning. And this is a learned game that I don't think anyone can go into being immediately really good at. There's so many outliers that you have to train. You have to learn. You're not dumb because you don't know. The architecture here is wonderful. It's immaculate. Yeah. See, this is a good thing about Jewish too, is like taking in the beauty of these places that you really, you had no, like Tim didn't know it, like this place existed, right? And now he knows and like, it's cool to like see and like, oh, this is like a beautiful place that actually exists on the world. And I think that's one of the perks of playing and the privilege of playing Jewish here. And even if I wanted to pick like the Czech Republic or something, I don't know where that is on a map. Like, I don't know <laughs> where that is here. I just looked at the Russia flag and it is the Russian flag. Wait, he looked it up? Really 
fucking stupid. And Google? all you're going to say, oh, dude, you cheated and shit like that. But even with me knowing that this is the Russian flag, I have, I don't, is that in Europe? I don't even know where, where is Russia, well, dude? Technically, I guess. Oh, dude, it's Russia. Yeah, right. Let me just, let me narrow this one down here, guys. Well, it is important. Russia's huge. Uh, obviously in the center of fucking Moscow, guess. Dude, this, I'm going to get made fun of for all this, dude. It's okay. Tim, you cheated. I needed it. Trust me. All right, fine. I'll just finish this out. I'm never playing GeoGuessr again. Okay. We got a shirt. We got a shirt. What's the shirt say? Literally in Wisconsin. Milwaukee? Are we in Wisconsin? <laughs> I keep I saying things ironically, and then he says them. Souvenir Ventola guidebook. Yes, I need one of those. <laughs> Must have. Ask Excuse me. Dude, they got Italian gelato. He's guessing on food. Dude, it's in Italy, bro. Where's Italy? Vatican. Huh? That's a tough one. That's a tough one. What the fuck's that? <laughs> True. All right, final one. There's somewhere I can't move. This is why Trekker covered I mean, is so my bad. Immediate, and I feel like I'm supposed to know what this bridge is. I mean, can I? Do I see anything? I gotta look at like T-shirts, maybe. Yeah, maybe there's like a well Milwaukee T-shirt. A lot of people could be just tourists and they could have like a Milwaukee, that one kid had a Milwaukee teacher. Dude, why can I read this man's mind? If you don't know the bridge, you can maybe use like deductive, like, okay, English plus maybe I haven't seen anywhere that looks like this in the US. The architecture doesn't really feel the US or Canada. It feels European plus English. UK, Ireland, Malta is the main ones. It could be a good, good indicator. This is England, bro. It's, it's hey, dude, you got there. Got I'm near water, bro. Let's go. The river going through London, bro. I'm going London. It's not about how you start. It's about how you finish. Dude, I got the last one. Okay, I'm that, proud. dude, actual pretty good on that yeah. one, huh? Yeah. Actual? Let's go! I told you guys I was smart. That was my first time ever playing GeoGuessr. I think I'm a genius. True. That was good. It was, just, it was just all like wholesome, good, fun stuff. So shout out to Tim. And then the final one we have is Cody Coe's. Love this man. I've never seen him play. I think I remember watching maybe a couple years ago. He started playing GeoGuessr before I ever started playing GeoGuessr. Actually, every single one of these people, I think, actually started playing GeoGuessr before I started playing. And I've never seen really many of these people play before. But I think that's like actually really a good point to make is that like you can get good GeoGuessr very, very quickly if you just put the time into it. Like I, I firmly believe that. Like if Cody Coe wanted to become, or Tim the Tatman, or anyone I've watched wanted to become good, you guys are, I fully believe they could, especially with with the way the community has evolved and how much of the resources are so open. It's more learnable now than it is ever. So nice to see you. Mm. I'm gonna do the United States one first. Mm. Let's do it. Start game, single player. Okay, okay. I don't like this. Well, Southern Pine I action. feel like there's horses somewhere here. I hate horses, dude. I feel like this is the type of place I would have. There's just gotta be stables around here somewhere. Look at these fences. This is some rich ass area, dude. Look at all this land. I know we're gonna see horses eventually. Two horses just chilling in a fucking stable. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. A horse girl definitely lives in this house. Look at this private lake thing. Oh, oh, here we go. What is this? The Retreat of Jasmine Forests. Arlington. Arlington. Arlington, Kentucky. Is that right? Is that a place? Where is... Kentucky. Kentucky. <laughs> I love Cody. Where is Arlington in Virginia? I don't know where the f*** this place is. Locating Arlington, Kentucky. Oh, this is amazing. Where the f***? Bro, who ever edited this, bro? Shout out to that guy. Cumberland? Cumberland. Like, that's a real place. Come on. I'm just gonna guess right here. I love this game. Dude, you guys are such a fun freaking game, dude. 300 miles away. Arlington, Tennessee. Tennessee? I mean, how many Arlingtons are there? Yeah, there's 21. It's like, oh, you see Springfield. The U.S. just steals, like, everyone's town names. It's not fair. I mean, I was 300 miles away. I was one state over. It's, pretty it's good not guess. bad. Oh, I know that guy. That's Jerry. What's up, Jer? Jerry? Okay, Iron. it's a good place guy, where Iron Man is. True. That seems to be clear. Pacific Island, Inc. This is Kona. This is Hawaii. Nice. Easy. It's now just the, I must the find Hawaii on the map. I'm just kidding. I know exactly where it is. It's right here. <laughs> I think it's on the big island, right? Right there. Guess. Nice. Guessing the Boom. Look at that. 50, 50 miles, miles from the correct location. I mean, it just does not get more accurate than that. Like, this isn't bad. He got, like, the general region right, like, most times, like, northeast, southeast, and Hawaii. So, all in all, like, the U.S. is notoriously one of the hardest countries to guess in. Uh, I consider that a win. Just out of curiosity, let's try the world. How am I supposed to... Okay, so immediately we had those ladder poles right there. I call those to learn SPF poles. Spain, Portugal, France, ladder this? poles. Intermarche Super. In French. Benvenue. We also had Literally. The, this antenna right here with like this gray tip. That's a uh, that's French. Anywhere. This looks like Dans votre Intermarche 
de twin drink. Yeah, he knows it's French. He got the accent. Catale, back. somewhere in France, for sure. Let's go. I think. I'm just gonna guess. Uh, I'm correct. gonna guess Tours. Okay, 300 miles away, but we got the country right, so hey, uh, country I'm gonna one. say that's a W. Dubs. He knows. Okay, Sorry. this is uh, also somewhere in Europe. We have the yellow back Germany plates, or something. so you're gonna be. I can tell by the yellow license plates. Ha <laughs> ha ha! What language do we got on here? Wait. Kind of feeling like this is rural Germany or something. Does he think Germany have yellow license plates? I can tell by the yellow license plates. Ha ha ha! Was he making fun of me without me knowing? I think I just got roasted. Ah. What language do we got on here? It's in English. Okay, so then I'm gonna guess like somewhere in the UK. I'm nice. gonna guess Manchester. Where was two for two? Oh, wait, where was the real place? Ireland, I was gonna guess that. It's right, it's two. No, Northern Ireland is the UK. I was gonna say that too, I swear to gosh. Crap. No, it's okay, Cody. Ireland. I've been to Belfast, It's okay, too. Cody. I've been fucking everywhere, dude. I'm a man of the world. Globe man, that's what they call me. Oh, I'm really seeing cool. lush. These are palm trees, so it's somewhere humid. Malaysia? Barato K. No, that's Spanish. That's Spanish. Right. Okay, so I'm thinking Malaysia's maybe left. Mallorca or something, you know. And Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> stupid. No. Oh. 4,700 miles away. That's okay. Where the f is this? this is Ulan. Russia. The car. Russia. Russia. This is Russia. Mongolia. Right? Or Ukrainian or something. I'm or something Moscow. is a good. Mongolia? That. <laughs> I'm I'm ashamed. No, that's that's just sorry. Meta, meta I feel like right probably... uh, oh, I'm this is good old America, baby. Unless. Yeah. It could also be Canada. I just feel like this looks awfully. Look, look at this autumn. This is true autumn. You know, there's yeah, colors. This oh, this is this looks like Canada, dude. This looks like Calgary. I'm gonna say it. Is it Cody from Canada? I'm just gonna do it. I was 33 miles away. <laughs> I guess my home city, and I was 30 miles away. I literally guessed it right. And what are the odds the fucking last one would be Calgary, where I'm from? You get the whole fucking globe. I'm kind of freaked out right now. I swear, I'm gonna stop playing. Let me know if you were playing along. And I was. This was so much fun. I, I thoroughly enjoyed like this whole, every single video I watched, rejuvenating my like inner GeoGuessr. You know, there's something special about watching people have fun playing the game. I, I think that's it's so fun. And it's like the true spirit of the game. If you guys enjoyed this, let me know. If you have any other people you want me to watch play GeoGuessr, maybe I'll do this again sometime. I, I thoroughly enjoyed this. I hope you guys did too. Don't forget to subscribe or don't. And I'll see you next week. Bye.